Hello everyone, welcome to yet another important video on Tableau. In this video, we are going to discuss one very important concept that is applying row level security to your data. So this is also one of the most, you know, frequently asked uh, interview question and also a scenario based question and also in real time it will be implemented in many projects that you will be working in the coming future. So pay attention and watch the video till, till the end because we need to know what are the different methods using which we can apply the security to the data. So let us start. So first thing is what I've done is I've created a temporary server where I have some list of users. Now we will play with this user and we'll try to apply security to our data. So as an example, what I'm doing is I am taking my region here. Yeah, okay. Re region wise sales I have. Now my requirement is like say for one user. Okay, uh, I'm going to change it. For one user, I want to show like say central and east. And for other user, I want to show south and west. Very si simple requirement. So I cannot create two different reports for each of them based on whoever is logging into the server. It should automatically filter the data. That is my requirement. So the first step that you need to do is go to your server and sign into the server that you have access to. So once you sign in, it will show who has logged into the report. Here is the name. So currently I have logged in. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create a user filter here. Okay, so let me delete the one here. Go to server. This is the first method. Go to server. Click on create user filter because we are applying filter on the region field. I'm going to select the region here from the drop down. So here it is. Okay. Now you see it is showing a list of all the users. Okay. Okay, okay, let me do one thing. Uh, I want to sign out and sign in so that it can take the latest information here. And I'm just reconnecting to my server here. So uh, earlier during the class, I uh, created one group. So it is showing that as well. I'm just... Uh, logging into my server to which I have access. Now you see it is showing my name. Now if I same step I'm trying to perform server create user filter select the field you want to apply. Now it is showing me two groups. Okay one is all users and dev group and here the region field that we have selected. Now first for this user I want to show central and east or give access to this. Similarly, for this user I'm selecting, I want to show south and west, okay? Likewise, for this guy, I want to show all of the four regions, okay? So, which means when this user is logging in, it should show central and east. When this user is logging in, it should show this. And when this user is logging in, it should show all of the regions. So, I'm clicking on OK. And I'm renaming that as a security filter. So you can name whatever you want. It created a filter here, you see. Just take this and drop it on your filter shelf. Now you see automatically based on who has logged in, it is trying to filter. So if you remember, for express this user, we gave these two regions. Now I'm just, I want to see how it will look for other user. So I'm clicking on this draw down and I'm selecting the other user, let's say this user. Now you see our regions have changed here. Likewise, for this user, we have selected all the regions. Now you see it is showing all the regions, which means our security is getting applied to the data based on who is logging in. So this is your first method where you can explicitly assign permissions to the user. Now assume a scenario where you have many users okay in your uh, in your project and for individually applying like this will be a troublesome process. So every time you cannot do that. But instead we will see this second approach. 
So for that, what I'm doing is, so in Tableau, we have some functions which supports this kind of security to the data that is called as user function. So if I click on go to create calculated field and once you create that, you have some functions called as user functions. You see, full name is full name, member of is username, use user domain or username. So these are the some of the functions supported to get user related information like to which group he belongs to, what is his full name, what is the domain. So if at all you are interested in finding out this kind of information, then you can use one among this. Now we will see second method how we can do here. Now what I'm doing is I'm using one function called as username function. So username function is get is used to get the username who has logged into the report. So example, I'll just comment it and I'm just writing username to show you what we get here. Apply. Okay. So I'm just going to drop it here. You see it is showing who has logged in. So here you see it is Vikram ready. So same thing here it is showing. I'm just changing it back to my name. Okay. And now if I take it again, it will show me my name. Okay. So that way it works. So I'm going to edit. And now we will see how we can apply. So I'm using this uh, syntax simply. If my username who has logged in is equal to this email address, the email address that with which you are accessing Tableau. And if region is equal to south or region is equal to one then give me one else is zero so basically what i'm trying to do here is i am creating a flag here which means whenever the condition is getting satisfied i am creating i'm treating that as one and for all other cases it is true so first it will check if the user is this and it will continue checking the condition until these two conditions are matched so whenever it is matching it will return one and others zero so i'm clicking on apply and okay so i'll just take this and drop it on filter shelf and select only one you see now automatically that filter is applied so likewise for all the list of users that you have in your real time you can add them and give security according to your wish okay so now for each user case, you want to write one. So likewise, let us try to write another user. So I'm writing else if, okay. And I'm hitting enter. If my username is equal to this, then one. So entire thing I'm copying here and I'm pasting in the next line. But this time we will copy another username here and uh, so okay so it is tough to get that so i'll just write else else zero and end okay so now for temporary let us comment this and i am uncommenting this and i'm just changing the name here for test purpose so that i can get that name click on apply okay so just uh, i'll take this on label and uh, maybe we'll go to new sheet yeah i'm just uh, clicking on Control C and let us see if you can paste it here. Yeah, it's working. And uh, yeah, so let us comment this and uncomment this. And my username should be equal to this. If username is equal to this and region is equal to, we will write it as central. 
okay or west then one else zero and end okay now let us go back to our sheet click on apply okay i'll take the same field and drop it on filter shelf and i'll take only one condition now you see for this guy it is showing center and west west same likewise if i change the username here it is changing the region our second method of implementation again very important now likewise let us see the third method this time what we will do is we will approach using groups so in real time what happens is in most of the cases we segregate users based on groups like say production group or development group or you know the end user group like that or testing group so like that so in that way it is easier to organize our users so most of the time so for that what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create one group in the server so i'm going to group here and now what i'm doing is i'm clicking on add group and creating one group called as production group okay click on create now if you see here uh, in development group these are the users that i have okay so if i go to production group i have no users so for now i will add one users so let me add myself click on add okay now we'll try to implement using groups in our this so i'm going to remove this from filter go to your calculation now this time what i'm doing is let us comment all of this so to play with groups we have a function called as is member of okay so now i'm using that function called as is member of which group so you need to specify to which group he belongs to like say a production group or dev group and so you can specify manually which means to all the members of this dev group region should be only south and west that is what we are trying to specify here okay so then one else zero again same likewise how i have categorized above i'm trying to write here also click on apply and okay so i'll take it and i'll drop it here okay so we got only two okay so two, 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 two. so we have selected so we have selected dev group right okay so what is the username it is the this username okay so okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sign out and sign back in so that it can take the latest information so click on connect again i'm going to enter the email address and click on sign in so while i do this don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel so i'll be posting this kind of informative videos you know very often so yeah south and west it is showing if i change it back to dev group see it is not giving anything because we are playing with the dev group so it is not showing so but if i select the production group it is not giving okay because in dev group i am not there let us go in production group i have but uh, in production we should get but maybe i think we need to restart so that we can get that okay so if i'm logging in i'm getting this too based on the permissions level here that's it okay so this is your uh, third method of applying using is a member of function so next important method is using a database approach like in many projects where the volume of data is huge we try to implement security based on database or using database so for that what we need to do is we need to create a simple table with list of users and the name of regions to which he should have access simple so as an example what i have done is i have created a simple excel file with two fields only 
like two columns one is name and the other one is region here okay so suppose this is my employee and he should have access to multiple regions so multiple entries i have so in real time if you have 10 entries you will write 10 entries here likewise okay and this user will have this now what we need to do is we need to go back to our tableau and connect to this table or file and make it a left to join here simple okay so do a left to join on that now what we need to do is write a simple calculation again i'm removing this and this time what i'm doing is i'm just commenting this and uh, i'm using a simple function called as username should be equal to employee name from my second file so if you observe here in this we have employee name so i'm trying to match my user who is logging in from the report to this user so once this matches it will list these two regions that is what it will do okay so i'm just trying to match so to make it consistent i am using upper as one you know conversion functions so click on apply okay so simply take and drop it here onto your filter shelf and select only true you see automatically it is filtered out so like this also you can do in real time again one this is one very rare scenario so if someone is asking in interview you can tell all of these approaches and you can also implement in your real time so i hope you like this video if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe have a good day bye bye